Hi guys, Showmofo here and welcome to my new Robocraft playlist and this is a playlist for uh, new players or noobs as they're sometimes called. Uh, I think we'll stick to new players, that's a lot, lot friendlier sounding. Um, and this is going to be a series of videos aimed at people who have literally just started playing the game. Uh, hi guys, welcome to Robocraft. Uh, it's a fantastic game, you should enjoy it thoroughly and I'm going to try and help you get off to a great start. And I think the best thing you can probably do is uh, take a quick look at their website, it's robocraftgame.com and on there under community you can find the forums and uh, if you just ignore the gameplay feedback and things you'd love to see in Robocraft and go to Robo Engineering, um, you can find lots and lots of valuable information in there about building robots, etc. Um, a quick note, um, if you search in this top search bar here um, that's on the banner, it will only come up with stuff posted uh, by the devs in the kind of uh, in their blog posts. So if you want to search the forums, say for something useful like Triforce, there you go. Um, search in this one here, and you need to be at home forums. Oh, go away. Go away, message from Windows. Uh, and just search here. And then hopefully it will come up with lots and lots of lovely topics. And these are all topics on Triforce detailings about people's designs, all kinds of fun stuff like this. Um, if you actually go onto forums and then, uh, say for example, we went onto the gameplay feedback, um, that search bar disappears. So you do need to be just on the uh, the forums uh, part there to use this little bit of um, search. Uh, but there's a wealth of uh, useful information on there. If you have any problems with the game, um, that might be a bug or uh, some kind of technical issue, come down and go into the tech support and always try and search for your problem first. Um, you know, um, just adding another post, um, say for example you'd been randomly mu muted on chat, uh, rather than starting a new thread on that, uh, you need to be logged in and then you can just post your title here. Um, Rather than starting a new thread, it's better to pop on here and maybe join in and say that you uh, got muted in chat as well. And then the people who go through here, uh, the mods, will be able to um, organize and reply and deal with the problems in a lot more of an efficient manner. Um, so yes, definitely get onto uh, Robocraft website, check out all the information available to you and there's even a new wiki here that you can find even more information about and uh, if a lot of people miss this, if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, we have release notes. There you can see changes that have been made to the version of the game. Okay, now let's dive straight into our glorious, glorious thing. And you get three bays of goodness. Um, this has changed a lot since I first started playing. Uh, when I first started playing, you had uh, the ability to use SMGs, plasma and rails in tier 1. That's all been changed now. So we start off uh, with a, a T1 bot, <laughs> a T1 uh, bed of cubes and a blank bay. And for this series of videos, uh, I'm not going to be using any premium at all. Um, if you do want to use premium, what you have to do is go up to the top here and add funds and then you can add premium. Um, but for this series, I'm just going to use um, what you get as a free player. So let's take a look. Let's load this robot up and see what we've got. Now, um, the standard bot that you get. I have not seen this before. Let's have a quick look. Also, let's let's have a quick look at our settings. Um, in here, you can see uh, I'm using window mode. That's so I can record this game in Camt Camtasia, the software I use to screen cap. Uh, I have my quality settings turned down just to make sure if I have any kind of internet problems that the graphics don't interrupt my gameplay. Um, my chat language here is currently set to all languages and I don't want that. What I want is it set to English. Um, I've got the filter profanity profanity filter sorry, enabled at the moment and chat enabled. 
um, as well uh, if you disable that it will also disable the chat in the battles so it's quite handy to have chat enabled um, and you can set uh, I've got the music turned right down and I've got the uh, the volume on the SFX down there so you can hear me chat away oh, as well as that um, there's also uh, the controls uh, these are really useful to know um, and uh, let's see does it mention it on here um, hmm no I don't think it actually mentions it on here but if you hold down uh, control while you're buying cubes uh, you need to press C to buy cubes uh, these are free now if I just click on here I can buy one but if I hold down control and click I can get 10 in a go and also if I uh, just click on here that takes one away if I hold control down that will take all 10 of those away now uh, you start off with 250 RP that's quite nice uh, you have a little bit of uh, game currency there I'm not sure you can buy anything um, with that um, no that's probably just for uh, spending on, on normal gear so you could use that up to just buy some of these things okay let's have a look at this bot well we've got eight wheels and um, are they all ah we've also got some more here and these are both free now the wheels that you get here these are just drive wheels and they don't steer um, you need these uh, wheel steering ones to steer okay so we've probably got a mix of those on this craft we've got four SMGs to start with uh, I believe you can get some for free. no you can't get uh, I'm looking at the wrong thing there we go yep you can get these front mount ones for free um, so if we run out of weapons we can just get some of those now looking at this bot straight away I can see this pilot seat is very exposed so if anything's above you or manages to land a hit on that um, that's what's going to destroy you if, uh, if we just take a quick look here at Robo 2 okay um, the cubes if you just uh, right click that gets rid of them uh, you can hold the middle mouse um, to click on something to select that kind of cube I'll switch back to those now it's the one underneath the back of your pilot seat um, this is the cube you need to um, protect if this cube goes then your entire craft is destroyed so it's quite important to protect that one and uh, just put those back and pressing G to go into the base screen let's go back here okay now um, at this level um, the glass cubes have the same armor, weight, everything else as the uh, the white cubes. It's just a different skin to make them look pretty. Um, so this is effectively all pretty much T1 gear that you start off with. And I'm going to take this guy out and see how we do in a battle with the uh, default bot. Okay, now it looks like everybody's just rushing in. It's probably not a great idea. Um, to just rush into the center of the map that's generally called a new brush and will get you killed these guys are all coming down here but one of the things that might happen is that if they get all close together and are stuck on that cliff ledge they may be taken out by a single volley of plasma so we're just going to hold back a little bit and see what the lay of the land is see where people are heading out shooting at someone down there you can see in the bottom right I've got a mini map now if I see an enemy and press Q I uh, oh, just missed the opportunity to do that whoa we falling down here am I stuck okay so I'm stuck it's probably gonna be a while till anything hits me what I'm gonna do is press escape and self-destruct there we go well that was a brilliant start um, so let's try that again okay so it's a lovely bot um, I'm gonna avoid rushing out into the center um, it, is, it is sometimes quite advantageous to follow the crowd although if the crowd are leading you to certain death 
maybe put some distance between uh, yourself. You can see there a rail guy is trying to track on the main crowd. So I'm going to try and put some cover between uh, myself and them. Now I can see an enemy there, so if I press Q, oh I missed it, you can see the timer cooling down. And then when I press Q again on an enemy, it spots it for my team. Now tap firing is the key to SMGs. The more you fire, the wider the crosshairs will get and the less accurate you'll become. I've lost all my weapons, and I will die now. There we go. Okay, so the first bot isn't brilliant. Um, uh, for a start, you could put more weapons on there. You've got a load of free weapons you could put. You could probably modify this quite a lot to make it better. Um, you've got RP to spend straight away. So, you know, you could already have built this up before you took it out on your first run. It's just to give you an idea of what you can do. And uh, for this series, I'm going to be keeping the video short. Um, and so I'll be back next time uh, with a tutorial on how to build uh, your first reasonable bot and to get going with your awesome Robocraft builds to take you to victory. Uh, I hope you found some of that useful, uh, you new players, and I'll see you next time. Uh, bye bye